Hello and welcome to tie-dye. Today we're going to be using the bottles that we sent you in the mail to make tie-dye. So you'll notice you have a bottle and it's filled with some powder at the bottom. So the first thing you need to do is fill up your bottle and it'll look just like this once it's full and then you're going to want to give it a big shake so that all of the powder is dissolved so we can make a really awesome tie-dye. Next thing that you need to remember is before we start tie-dyeing, our tie-dye surface needs to be wet. So we sent you this awesome Dream Day bag in the mail, and that's one of the things that we're going to be tie-dyeing. So you're going to want to make sure that everything is wet before you start. So you might want to get a bowl of water, or if you have a hose, you can use a hose to get it nice and wet. So you want to make sure everything is wet before you start. And that's so that the colors will stay and so that they don't get um, washed out. I'm also going to be tie-dyeing a shirt. If you have a white shirt at home, you could tie-dye it too. So now that my things are all wet, we're ready to get started. Okay, now that we have our wet bag that's been wrung out, our next step is to take our rubber bands. So you're going to go ahead and take some rubber bands and make any pattern that you want. Now the pattern we're going to try today is the swirl, right? Or the fold. I was going to do the bullseye one. The bullseye. So how do you do that? Um, you're just going to roll it up like a little tortilla wrap. Like a tortilla wrap. Nice. And you have those out. So kind of like this. Exactly. Beautiful. Does and it then, matter which way? Nope, you can do it diagonally, you can do it um, hot dog style, burger style, whichever way. Okay. And then I'm going to take elastics and section off however many colors you'd like. Hmm. I think I might do five. This is mainly just a guide so that way you know where you're going to be putting your colors. What does the rubber band do? Um, it just keeps it together so that way it doesn't go flying all over the place. Is That's that where the question. white sections are? Um, no, the white sections are where the folds are. Where the folds are, mm -hmm. okay. So if you want more white then you just fold it up really tight. Awesome. But if you want more, um, or I'm sorry, vice versa. If you want more white then you keep it really loose and if you want more color, you make sure it's like super tight. Okay. And then for those. Now, am I ready? Oh, nice. Yes, you look absolutely ready. Okay. I still have to I do this. I think we should show them how to do the color. Oh, yeah, agreed. That sounds good. All right, my first color is going to be rose red. Nice. Very so, nice. I think I'm gonna wrap this up. The fun thing about this is that it comes with its own spout. So we don't have to worry too much about spilling, but you might wanna make sure that you're in a place where it doesn't matter if you do spill, like outside if you have a spot, or put down some sort of newspaper or a tray underneath you. Alright, that's it. Mine is all done. You ready? We are. Ready. Uh, I think we're ready. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna do my favorite color chartreuse. <laughs> chartreuse. Alright. So, we just go ahead and put it on, just right? Just go ahead and dye it up. Nice. And make sure you saturate it really well. What does saturate mean? Saturate means... Um, making sure that there's a lot of color okay and just good. really doing it up so if you wanted to do a shirt or if you were looking to do another design you can always do the spiral now the spiral is one of the most common tie-dyes that you might see on a tie-dye shirt in a store and it's super easy so you're gonna start in the center and you're gonna pinch the center of your shirt kind of like this next you're gonna pull the pinch so it starts to make a spiral shape. You see how the lines are coming in? So you're gonna hold on and you're gonna keep spinning it. And if it doesn't look like a perfect spiral, that's okay. 
because either way it's going to look really cool in the end. So you're going to keep pulling that center piece like this. And once your shirt is pretty much spiraled, you can just tuck the extra sides around like that. Now that I have my little bundle here, that's when I put on my rubber bands. So I'm going to put a rubber band across it like this to try to keep my shape intact. But if the ends come out, it's no problem because those are the areas that are going to be that aren't the center of the shirt. So it's a little messy, but it's going to look really cool once I have all my colors. So I'm going to go ahead and put all my rubber bands on and then you can see what happens next. Welcome back. Are you guys ready to undo your tie dye? We are. So go ahead and take your tie dye out of your bag. And next, it's important that we rinse it in water. And that's to get all the excess dye out. So oh, we have doing... a bucket. You could use your bathtub or your sink. Ooh, don't use your bathtub. No, don't use your bathtub. Use if your sink. If it's porcelain, it will stain your bathtub. So don't use your bathtub. So don't use your bathtub. <laughs> but you could use a sink. So what do we, do we wring it out? We're gonna wring it out until the water um, runs clear. Uh, of course, if you're using it, I um, like faucet, just keep running water on it. Wring them out. And I will open mine up so you guys can see mine. Wow. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I like that. Very nice. Well done. I like that it's, it's um, horizontal too. I did mine diagonal. Or vertical. This is mine. Ooh. Should I rinse it again? Right, and this is mine. Nice. Ooh. Oh, we also did it that way. <laughs> cool. Awesome. Cool tie-dye bags. 